In this video, we're going to look at how to append data to a Data Studio dataset. Using Analyst Canvas version 3.5 or greater, simply select any Data Studio export block, and under the Update Options tab, select Append. You can also choose to delete the data in the master date range before appending it. This is otherwise referred to as a date-based incremental load. Make sure you choose the right date column for your dataset, as some datasets have more than one date column. What we've done here is loaded the last 730 days of data from both a Google Analytics API call as well as a SQL Server database. In the case of the Google Analytics API call, we simply need to change the date range to the last 10 days. The API call will request the last 10 days and ensure that only the last 10 days of data is brought forward. With the SQL query, we have to do something slightly different. In our SQL query itself, we have to reference the time period in the WHERE clause so that the WHERE clause will know what that master time period is. So to do that, we first have to check this option to enable parameters. That allows you to use the parameters that are available, the date parameters that are available in Analytics Canvas. Here are the two that reference the master time period, AC start date and AC end date. In both cases, I've had to wrap the expression in a single quote, as well as curly brackets. We use the date only function so that the start date that we're given starts at midnight and so that the end date ends at midnight, but on the next day. This, gives, this ensures that I'm going to get everything, in this case, from May 21st. And that's it. Once I've added this WHERE clause, I can make any other changes I want or have any other uh, query that I want here, as long as the date range is referencing the master time period. I then select OK, and the data set is going to reload. And now when they reload, they're only going to load the last 10 days worth of data and append those, those last 10 days to the Data Studio datasets. That's it. That's all we need to do to perform our date-based incremental load. If you have any questions, reach out to us at support at analyticscanvas.com.